AccuDraw works with any kind of drawing, and it also works with modifying or changing an element. So I'm going to pick the circle tool, control tentative to the center, again, just line it up here, and draw a radius of 20. Uh, so I'm going to tab over to make sure that I'm on the distance field, and I'm going to type 20. Now, if I were to do this in the XY, it does work, but make sure that you don't, after typing the 20, that you don't roam off of that, because otherwise you're going to get a Y component to that, and now you don't have a radius of 20. So if you're typing a radius, either pull it directly to the right, pull it straight up, doesn't matter which, or left or down, but just make sure that you're indexed to the red or the green uh, when you're typing in a radius. All right, we're going to now switch to a rectangle, and we are going to and enter and line it up with up there. I'm going to pull to the right, type 100. Again, don't data because the I'm doing a an orthogonal rectangle, and with an orthogonal rectangle, it expects the value to be the opposite corners. All right. Uh, now, I've touched the tool setting, so that took away focus from my AccuDraw. So I can either do an F11 to make sure AccuDraw has focus again, or I could click down there if I really wanted to. So I'm going to type 50. There we go. We have an orthogonal rectangle. For this one, I'm going to use the Smart Line. Smart Line, Control Tentative here. Again, Enter key, line it up with here. I'm going to go this way, 110, 110, beta, go straight up, 50. You could actually do this one in polar mode. It doesn't really matter because everything's straight. I'm going to come to the left, type 60. I'm going to go straight up. I'm going to type 30. And then I'm going to come back and hit the Enter key so that I can line it up with here. So when I line it up, so you do the Enter key first, then come down data. Now that did the line up here. If I want to also close it, I have to data one more time to close it. All right. So this one is going to be polar mode. So I can start in not polar mode. It doesn't really matter. I'll switch to polar mode. I'm going to do 60 data. Now I'm going to do a distance of 50 with an angle of 30. So distance of 50, type 50. Tab over, angle of 30, data. We're going to go straight along the indexing because I want this next line to be perpendicular. So I'll, now this is, I'm going to purposely make a mistake here because one, I happen to make this mistake more than I really should. And it's something that you're going to do. You're going to type the 25 and realize, well, that didn't do what I expected. And that's because I was in the angle field and not in the distance field. Very easy, just type A, that will unlock the dis the angle, that unlocks the angle, and now I can tab over to the distance field where I should have been and type my 25. So if I had tabbed first, then it would have been perfect. Uh, v for view, T for top or B for base will rotate your compass to be straight, and now we can type 30. Now what if What if I make a mistake? Uh, I haven't shown this, but if I make a mistake where the line, you know, that was supposed to be straight and I didn't do it straight. If you're in smart line, don't get out of smart line and try to fix it. Just do an undo. Control Z will undo the last segment that you did. And now hit the enter key, line it up and data and then data to close it. All right. So that's showing us how to do this with a bearing uh, in one of them but some of them are straight as well. So you can mix your modes very easily. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.